Welcome back to Crypto AI Profit. Today I wanted to read through a newsletter from Future Today Institute about the Aletheia AI project. But first, the reason why I'm so into this project is that I believe that synthetic media could be bigger than film. And I also see deepfakes as being one of the biggest threats to businesses, governments, and society as a whole moving into the future. So I think that whoever addresses the issue of deepfakes while creating empowering tools is going to create tremendous value. And in my opinion, a combination of deep fake detection AI algorithms and blockchain is going to be needed so as to ensure that individuals can be both empowered and protected in this day and age where seeing is no longer believing. And here's a brief overview of how blockchain ties into this. So images or videos can be cryptographically signed by multiple parties at the source of origin and cryptographic hash can be assigned to the video at the time of the recording. With blockchain's immutability feature, the hash data once entered cannot be modified and every instance of upload, download, and edit to the video can be written into a smart contract after validation by the original parties. And this creates an audit trail for the video and assures its integrity and improves the traceability. But over to this newsletter, it says, would you like to sell your likeness to companies that want realistic looking spokespeople in the form of synthetic avatars? Then it gets into the fact that this is exactly what Aletheia AI is doing with their marketplace. And it says that in this new marketplace, individuals can give permission for their image or voice to be used to make a custom avatar and then get paid when it's used. And these bots are cryptographically labeled to show that they are not indeed real, but rather manipulated via AI. And companies can pick the lower price characters on Aletheia AI by choosing those that are entirely fictional, for instance. Why should you care? Synthetic media offers business opportunities for advertising, marketing, sales, and customer service. For instance, in the form of cheaper, more easily controlled spokespeople and human-like customer service bots that offer authentic personal interactions. And synthetic media also poses big opportunities for entertainment when combined with your own personal data. So imagine a programmable soap opera or a Sims-like game that plays out using the storylines from real people. And in an ultimate expression of a reality show, synthetic characters would play to an audience of exactly one. So synthetic media can be custom tailored to each individual audience member. That's why I think that this could be bigger than film. Advancements in synthetic media could also eventually let us preserve ourselves throughout our lifetimes, like being able to talk to a five-year-old version of yourself or being able to talk to a family member that's already passed away. And so things you should know, synthetic media isn't just about goofing around or making entertaining videos. There are also huge cost savings involved. Advertisers can generate hundreds or thousands of synthetic characters with specific accents for specific demographic bases. And they can also speak different languages. For instance, there was a malaria service announcement last year with David Beckham where he spoke nine different languages with the use of synthetic media. Next, there is the possibility of misinformation. And that's where I think that blockchain and deepfake detection algorithms will come into play to prevent this. And also, it says not all synthetic content is necessarily fake news. But anyways, share this video, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.